Hello, everybody. Good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Bueno, me van a disculpar. Creo que la fuente de luz no me favorece hoy, pero trataremos de ver cómo solventamos eso posteriormente. Estoy en una ubicación nueva, así que me voy a ver un poquito oscurito. Ok. Everybody, um, welcome once again to this class. Um, I'm going to share the screen with you. Okay. I need a lamp here. Well, anyway. Okay, I'm going to call the attendance. So please pay attention and when you hear your name, please let me know, okay? There are 15 participants. Okay, first one, Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Present the teacher. Thank you. Arles Ernesto López. Arles Ernesto. Problema de conexión, teacher. Problema de conexión, pero ya está intentando. Okay, thank you. Baudilio Elenilson Rivera. Baudilio Elenilson Rivera. Is Baudilio here? No. Okay, Carlos Alberto Santos Reyes. Carlos Alberto Santos Reyes. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Okay, thank you. Cecia, Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. David Antonio Rosales García. Good evening, teacher. I am here. Hello. Thank you. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. You hear? Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ever Francis Alvallero. Present, teacher. Thank you. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O Ayala Hernández. Ebert Aristides Oya Ruiz. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. Presente. Thank you. José Amilca Reyes Cruz. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Benjamin Gavidia Guevara. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Jose Valentin Rivera Lopez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Se encuentra conectando en este momento. Okay, thank you. Baudilio Lenilson se está conectando ahorita también. Me levantó la mano. Thank you, Baudilio. Teacher, I am here. Hi. Ok. Me dijeron... Perdón, Juan Carlos Portillo Arias se está conectando ahorita, ¿verdad? Firma, firma. Ok. Ah, muy buenas Juan... noches, teacher. Arles Ernesto, reportándose. Hello, Arles. Good evening, teacher. 
Good evening. Present Juan teacher. Who's, who said present? Hola. Bueno, uh, okay. Give me a moment, please. Carlos Reyes, presente. Okay. Cecia, presente. Okay. Juan Francisco arrasaba el calderón. Juan Francisco arrasaba el calderón. Karen Yuriza. Perdón. Al parecer está en reunión. Ok, thank you. Karen Yulisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Teacher, teacher. Yes. Juan Francisco, presente. Ah, ok, thank you. Karen Yulisa Vázquez de Aparicio. María de Lourdes, Mirostaba Mansur Aguilar. Good evening. I am present, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. María Magdalena Cedillos González. Ah, Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Present. Thank you. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. Oscar Susana Castellano. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Okay, I'm calling some of you again. Enrique Perez Lemus. Enrique Perez Lemus, no. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Franklin de la O Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O Ayala Hernández. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Karen Yulisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Karen Yulisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. Ok, comenzamos. Ok, everybody. Um, welcome once again. This is Inglés Principiante Módulo 2. And that's me, Iván Doñán, at your service. This is session number 10. And this is June the 12th, 2023. Vaya, me disculpo de antemano por la poca, digamos, eh, luminosidad que presento. Creo que me miro bastante oscuro en este momento. Y creo que se escucha un poco de eco. Ay, tengo mala acústica. Pero es debido a que me, me, ayer hice un cambio de domicilio. Entonces, no hay nada. <ríe> y por lo tanto, hay mucho eco. Así que creo que mañana voy a empezar a llenar acá un poco las cosas y eso va a hacer que el, el, el audio se escuche un poco mejor. Así que si, si hay uh, un poco de dificultad, me disculpo de antemano. Ok, everybody. Cecia. Pues se le escucha bien, teacher. Mm, great, thank you. Solo falta una lámpara porque me miro muy, muy oscurito ahorita. Es que la lámpara está atrás, es el problema. Ok. Thank you. Okay, let's begin. Um, let's do this. Okay, this is section five, the last section of this level. En la última sección del nivel. Solo esta semana y termina este nivel. Así que eh, hagamos nuestro mejor esfuerzo y si pues vamos un poquito atrasados en la plataforma, completemos todo y también les invito a estar presentes cada minuto posible de clase porque cada uno de ellos cuenta y les va tomando, les va aumentando su porcentaje de asistencia a las clases. Así que 
Tratemos de estar acá lo más temprano posible siempre. All right, lesson objective 5.0. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary related to popular sports in the US and Canada. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán vocabulario relacionado con deportes populares en Estados Unidos y Canadá. Okay, so first thing, take a look. This is the snapshot. Some vocabulary for you. Listen and practice sports seasons in the US and Canada. First, we have to know the meaning of, uh, give me a moment. Okay, let me show you this. First, we have uh, the seasons, okay? We studied these in um, basic one or beginner one. So you have spring, summer, fall, winter. Also fall, sorry. Is called autumn. Okay, so what's the meaning of spring? Do you know? ¿Qué significa? What's the meaning of spring? Cecia, and then Maria Lourdes, okay? Primavera. Yeah, that is correct. Okay, so the first one is primavera. Okay, so let's put it here. What about summer? Maria Lourdes. Verano. Verano, that's correct. What about fall or autumn? Who knows this one? Maybe you can help me. ¿Quién conoce esta? Que me pueda ayudar. Vamos, sin miedo ni pena. Maria Lourdes, okay. Otoño. Otoño, that is correct. Okay. And what about winter? What's the meaning of winter? Raise your hand. Cecia, okay. Invierno. Invierno. Okay, thank you. All right, so that's it. Those are the seasons. And uh, let's put it here. The seasons of the year. In El Salvador, we only have two, right? In El Salvador, we only have summer and we only have winter. And that's it. Only that. Okay, but in other countries, they have spring, they have summer. They have fall or autumn and they have winter, okay? So that's the vocabulary for you. I'm going to send this to you via WhatsApp also so you can have it. WhatsApp. Okay, you have it there. So I want you to take a look at this. This is the snapshot. Listen and practice sports seasons in the US and Canada. Now you have this. In the spring, just a moment. Okay. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. Okay. So those are the sports play golf, play soccer. What is the meaning of soccer? What is the meaning of soccer? Can you tell me? Okay, Baudilio? Uh, football. Okay, that's good. But take a look, okay? You call soccer here. This is in the United States, okay? Then everywhere else, you call it football. Técnicamente solo en Estados Unidos le conocen como soccer. Ok. En cualquier otro lugar del mundo, fútbol. Ok. Everywhere else. Deja capturar la pantalla y no, no. Ok. No me deja capturar la pantalla. Problemas técnicos. Ok. So, uh, take a look. ¿Por qué es que ellos tienen una palabra especial? Porque para ellos fútbol es American football. ¿verdad? So when when the in the United States when they say football they mean American football, and when they say uh, soccer that means regular football. So there you go. So in the spring people play golf and they play soccer. 
What about the second one? I need a volunteer. Who can help me read this? ¿Quién me ayuda a leer esto? Por aquí, Franklin de lado presente y Erika Beatriz también presente. Okay. Thank you both. Welcome. Okay, so I need a volunteer to read, oops. I need a volunteer to read uh, this in the fall. Who can help me? Quien me ayuda a leer eso? Cecia. In the fall, people play football. In the fall, people go by riding. In the fall, people go hiking. Thank you, good pronunciation. So in the fall, people play football. Okay, you can see it here, football. They go bike riding, okay? And they go hiking. This is bike riding right here, okay? And people also go hiking. Those are the activities that people do in the fall. Let's take a look at this. In the summer, okay, people. Necesito voluntarios, porque no sean siempre los mismos, ¿verdad? okay? <laughs> No, felicito mucho los que me participan, pero también los demás quiero escucharlos. So, um, who can help me read this? We have chat, Juan Carlos Portillo ya ingresó, okay? Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Thank you, welcome. So, in the summer, people, okay, Carlos Alberto, and then Adán Iglesias for the last one. Thank you very much. In the summer, people play baseball. Mm -hmm. In the summer, people play tennis. Mm -hmm. In the summer, people play volleyball. Mm -hmm. In the summer, people go swimming. Okay, good, thank you. So in the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, and go swimming. You can see them here. People play baseball, this is the picture for it. They play tennis, play volleyball, and they go swimming, all right? Thank you very much. Adán Iglesias, the last one, please, in the winter. In the winter, people play hockey. Play hockey? Play basketball. Mm -hmm. uh, ice skating. Ice skating. Skating. Ice skating. Go skating. Hiking. Uh -huh. Okay, so thank you, uh, Adán. In the winter, people play hockey. You can see it here, play hockey, play basketball. Okay, this is a picture, people play basketball. People go ice skating. This is ice skating, okay? And people go skiing. This is skiing. So that's the vocabulary right there. So again, right, in the spring, people play golf, play soccer, in the fall, people play football, go bike riding, and go hiking. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, go skiing. <clears throat> Antes de continuar acá, veamos una consulta. ¿Qué pueden observar en este vocabulario? ¿Observan algún patrón? María de Lourdes, en Den Baudilio. Eh, que, se, que siempre lleva el, el verbo play o el verbo go. Okay, that's good. Okay, we have the verb play and the verb go. Veamos. That is correct. Okay, Baudilio, did you notice anything else? Um, que los verbos no sufren ninguna modificación. Tan ¿En qué por... caso? Uh, play. Ah, play and go. Mm, correcto. Porque se trata de present simple. Entonces, yeah. cuando decimos people, o sea, they, they play, they go, that's present simple. Cecia. Levantó la no, mano. No, eso se, que se iba. Se arrepintió. Sí, sí, bueno, sí, no. <laughs> <laughs> que okay. es el simple, presente simple. It's present simple, correct. Ok, vamos a ver. ¿Y qué pasará cuando van los verbos con, cuando, cuando la actividad comienza con go? ¿Qué pueden ver ahí ustedes? María Lourdes. El gerundio es este, presente continuo. 
Ok. Um, no es presente continuo exactamente. Ok. Pero sí termina la siguiente palabra en ing. Ok. Eso sí sería un gerund. So, cuando, ve, cuando va a go, dice go bike riding, ing. Go hiking, ing. Go swimming, ing. Go ice skating, ing. Go skiing, ing. Ok. Todos los que llevan go, la siguiente palabra, o por lo menos con la que termina, va en ing. Cecia. Eh, solo no sé qué es hiking. Hiking. Ah, okay. Look. Go hiking. This activity. When you go to the mountains and walk. Okay. In the nature. That's hiking. Mm -hmm. That's the meaning. Muchas gracias. Uh, sorry, English. Ah, uh, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. So, yes. That's hiking. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary here? ¿Alguna duda sobre el vocabulario? No questions? If you don't have questions, we will continue. Okay, so um, here's some extra activity right here. Uh, just give me a moment. Just a second, please. Okay. So uh, complete the crossword puzzle, write the names of the sports. Okay, now you tell me the names of the sports. All right. So what about the first one? Number one, down. You have across. Remember, across means horizontal and down means vertical. Okay. So number one, down. We're going to do <coughs> down only. Solo vamos a hacer las que van verticales. Okay. So number one is soccer. Okay. What about number two? What's that? Paulilio. Tennis. Tennis. Okay. Yeah, that's correct. You have tennis, double N. Okay. What about number three? What's number three? Number three. Paulilio. Hiking. Hiking. That's correct. Okay. Good. Ever, you go for the next one. Ever, what about number four? What's that? Uh, baseball. Baseball. Okay, baseball. yeah, that's baseball. Yeah, correct. Baseball. Mm -hmm. Very good. That's baseball. Thank you, Ebert. What about number five? That's my favorite sport. Carlos. Riding a bike. Riding a bike. Okay, yeah, but si lo dice así no cabe ahí la... la... <laughs> la palabra, no cabe el término. Okay, so, uh, but yeah, that's correct. But, but what is that? Mm -hmm. We have a chat entry. Enrique Pérez Lemos ya se conectó. Thank you. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, so what is that? What is, what is number five? Por ahí me dijeron, riding a bike. O sea, sí, definitivamente. Pero hay otra forma de decirlo. <laughs> Para que sí quepa ahí en los, en los espacios. See the vocabulary again. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, Valilio, what is that? My reading. Bike riding, okay, okay. But be careful because the pronunciation is riding, riding. Okay. Yes, reading is leer. <laughs> so this is riding, okay, montar algo. So bike riding, very good, thank you. What about number six? What well, was number six? You can tell me. Jose Benjamin. Volleyball. That's volleyball, yeah, that's correct. Okay, very good, volleyball. What about the next one? Adán Iglesias, number seven, across. Okay, this is horizontal. Basketball. It's basketball. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. ¿Qué pasó? No me salió. Ah, sorry. Yeah, that's basketball, pero me faltó una acá. Number three. What's number three? Sorry. Me salté una. What is number three? 
Claudilio. Hockey. That's hockey. Okay. Okay. Very good. And then we have basketball. Okay. Thank you both. Okay. So, um, what about number eight? Eight across. What is that? Maria Magdalena. Swimming. Swimming. Okay. Yeah, that's right. That's swimming. And the last one. Easy. Cecia. Golf. Golf. It's a sport for the rich. <laughs> okay. Ever. No. <laughs> okay. Se arrepintió. Okay, so yeah, there you go. Those are the sports right there. Some uh, vocabulary practice. Okay, good. Uh, the next part. Now that you know the vocabulary, we can do this. Okay, by the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer simple present WH questions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Final de esta clase aprenderán cómo formular y responder preguntas interrogativas WH en presente simple. Bueno, ya habíamos estudiado eso en la sección número 3, pero igual vamos a repasar. Además, quiero ver, practicarán una conversación la cual ilustra cómo se utiliza este tema en un escenario de la vida real. Okay, so well, take a look. There's a conversation. I love sport. Okay, I love sport. So uh, there's a conversation, listen and practice. There's a conversation between Laureen and Justin. So I need two volunteers to read this. Cecia, okay. And who else? A gentleman, please, un caballero, to play Justin's part. No hay caballeros. Okay, Carlos Alberto. All right. Uh, so, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sport. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you are really good athlete. 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 When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play this sport. I just watch them on television. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's the conversation right there. Okay, so uh, Lorraine asks, so Justin, what do you do in your free time? And Justin says, well, I love sports. And Lorraine says, really? What sports do you like? Justin says, um, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Lorraine says, wow, you are a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? And Justin says, oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. So <laughs> that's it. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary here? Una consulta acerca del vocabulario. Any questions? Vocabulary? No questions? Nothing? Okay, then. Some pronunciation here, okay? Always remember, cuando una palabra comienza con una S, comienza con el sonido de una S también. Así... Yo sé que es un poco difícil, más que todo al principio, pero palabras como esta no se pronuncian sport, ¿ok? Esta E imaginaria no existe. Tiene que comenzar de una sola vez con el sonido sport, sport, y no e sport, ¿ok? Careful there, mucho cuidado ahí. Ok, otra palabra sería athlete, okay, this is athlete, athlete, it's another word, let's see, it's hockey, baseball, soccer, my favorite, ah, this one, okay, this word, okay, the pronunciation, favorite, favorite, okay, 
So again, remember, sport, athlete, favorite. Okay, that's good pronunciation right there. So pair work, what do you do in your free time? Tell your partner, okay? I, I have that question for you right here. So tell me, what do you do in your free time? Or another way of saying this, do you play or do you play any sports? For example, in my case, if I have to answer this question, I will say, take a look. In my free time, I read, watch TV sometimes, okay, uh, draw, play the guitar, watch movies. What else do I do? Uh, watch videos and uh, and sleep okay that's what i do in my free time mm -hmm. so that's the first question what are you doing in your free time in my free time i read watch tv draw dibujo, play the guitar watch movies watch videos and sleep do you play any sports if you ask me i will say yes i ride my bicycle okay i like riding the bicycle so okay so what about this? I have this question for you. So the first one is, what do you do in your free time? I need a volunteer. Okay. Híjole. Okay. Recordemos si el, el micro, si no estamos participando, desactivemos nuestro micrófono. Okay, so what do you do in your free time? I need a volunteer. Who wants to try? Cecia. In my free time, I paint, I watch TV, mm -hmm. I cooking. I cook. I cook. Press and I simple. Cook. Mm -hmm. Okay, I cook. Um, eh, no sé, siembro plantas, pero no sé cómo se dice. Uh, Harvest, o oh, no, eso es cultivar. No, you, you can say, I do gardening. I garden. I do gardening. I do gardening. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Sounds good. I'm going to delete this because I don't do this. Okay. Maria Magdalena, what do you do in your free time? In my free, in my free time, mm -hmm. uh, I am West TV. Careful right there. Careful. You don't use the verb be. So you say, I watch TV. I watch TV. Mm -hmm. I um, watch. <laughs> Sorry? Um, I am o sea, cocinar, I am cooking. Okay. Oh, careful, careful. I cook. I cook. I cook. Okay, I cook. I watch movies. Okay. Um, and sleep. Okay, that sounds good. Thank you very much, Maria Magdalena. Let's hear uh, what Enrique Perez has to say. What do you do in your free time? The microphone. Microphone, microphone. El microphone. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, for me, uh, my free time, I listen to music in English. I listen, uh, I listen to music in English. To music English. Okay. Uh, uh, so, watching TV. Okay. Uh, you say, I, uh, I watch TV. See, so, okay. what family? I'm sorry? Uh, with family. Ah, okay. Uh, so you say I watch TV with my family. I have family. Uh, so sleep. You say also I sleep. I sleep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. So my next question is 
do you play any sports? I need volunteer, a volunteer. For example, in my case, I ride my bicycle. I like that. It's good. Palilio, do you play any sports? Um, so, so, and my free time, I am practice the skydiving. You don't say I am practice. You say I? I practice. Skydiving? Uh -huh. So you say I practice skydiving. Really? Really. Wow. Okay. Do you know skydiving? Yeah. What is skydiving? Okay. Cuenta ahí a los compañeros. Paracaidismo. Paracaidismo. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Tiene yeah, su valor, compañero. Okay. Yeah, skydiving. Yeah, totally. I will never do this. Mm -mm. No, not for me. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. But for me, no. Okay. Never. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's that's very nice. Okay. Thank you, Valilio. What about what about the rest of you? Do you play any sports, Cecia? Um, it's more dangerous to be with the people. It's more dangerous to be with people. Yeah, sometimes it is. <laughs> okay. Um, do, do you practice any sports? Who else wants to participate? Mm -hmm. Nobody? Okay, then. We'll continue. So here's a conversation. So uh, what are we going to do? We're going to do some grammar right now. So this is the grammar focus. Simple present WH questions. Nada nuevo. Ya habíamos visto eso la semana antepasada. Pero vamos a tener un repaso y algunos ejercicios adicionales. So uh, simple present WH questions. Now, we're going to concentrate on WH questions, not yes, no questions. So you have, for example, what sports do you play? I play hockey and that's baseball. Who do you play baseball with? Okay, with is a preposition. Normally prepositions go at the end of the question. So who do you play baseball with? That's something that we need to understand about that. It's that it works differently from Spanish. Funciona diferente el español. Porque en español casi siempre la preposición en la pregunta va al principio. Uno dice con, es la preposición, con quien, Juegas. Okay. But in English, you say, who, which is quien, do you play? And then at the end, you say, with. With means con. But that's the rule. In English, the preposition goes at the end of the question. Okay. In English, por lo general, va a utilizar la preposición al final de la pregunta y no al principio, como en español. En español, utilizamos al principio. In English, al final. Con quien juegas? Okay, so you say, who do you play with? Okay. So if you notice, who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. That's the name of the park. How often do you practice? How often? What's the meaning of how often? What's the meaning of how often? ¿Qué significa how often? María de Lourdes. ¿Con qué frecuencia? ¿Con qué frecuencia? ¿Qué tan seguido? Verdad? Okay. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. Some vocabulary right here. Veamos. Once. Esto no es once, ¿verdad? Esto quiere decir... Una vez, okay, then you have twice, okay, dos veces. Una vez tuve un alumno que sí me dijo, once, ¿qué es, teacher? Once, no, nada que ver. Es una vez, eso significa, okay, once, una vez, twice, dos veces, okay. A partir de ahí usted ya puede decir three times, four times, five times, etc., okay. So uh, another thing is you can you can use the expression once or twice like this. You can say once a, and then the 
expression. You can say once a week, una vez a la semana, once a month, una vez al mes, once a year, una vez al año, etc. María Lourdes. Únicamente, teacher, para una y dos veces, eh, vamos a usar once and twice, eh, nada más. Existe la palabra thrice, que es tres veces, pero casi nadie la utiliza. Es como un inglés un poquito antiguo y un poco desfasado. Existe la palabra thrice, pero por lo general la gente ocupa once, twice y después three times, four times, five times, etc. But yeah, you can also use twice like this, twice a week. Or you can say twice a day, dos veces al día, okay? Twice a week, twice a month, twice a year, okay? Dos veces al año. For example, people say, I see my dentist twice a year. For example, okay? I see my dentist twice a year. Dos veces al año. Enrique. Perdón, la pregunta que le voy a hacer. Este, no, eh, ¿Por qué decimos, eh, por qué expresamos on a week y twice a week? A, twice a day. ¿Por qué no podemos ah. decir two a day? O once one, a day. Once a day. Eh. Hmm. Sí, se puede. Once a day, una vez al día. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Once a day, once a week, una vez a la semana, once a month, una vez al mes. ¿Y por qué no dimos aquí one nomás? Sin ponerle ahí. Sin ponerle. Como, ¿Quién escribe el número uno? Ah, bueno, así malo. Mm. Un... Uh -huh. Así es, así se dice. <ríe> no hay una regla específica para eso. Simplemente así es la expresión. Gracias, uh -huh. teacher. I'm sorry. I, I don't have an explanation. Hay ciertas cosas en el idioma que simplemente no tienen explicación porque así son. Como si a usted le preguntaran por qué se puede decir conmigo, pero no se puede decir sin mío. No hay explicación en realidad. Es porque así es la expresión. Uh, no hay una regla que nos diga exactamente. María de los Urdes. Thank you, teacher. ¿No podría compartirlo por WhatsApp? Claro, por favor? claro que sí. Ok. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Right now. Okay, that's the first one. And here's the second one. Okay. Adán Iglesias. Y de vez en cuando, ¿cómo sería, teacher? Ah, okay. <laughs> you can say from time to time. From time to time is de vez en cuando. Mm -hmm. de, de vez en cuando o de cuando en vez? De, de vez en cuando. Las dos. <laughs> de vez en cuando, from time to time. Como la pizza. Bueno, eso sí, ya no. <risa> ya sé a qué canción se refiere, pero no. Ok. Ok, so let's take a look. So, how often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. Ok, once or twice a week. Una vez o dos veces a la semana. And then you have, when do you practice? Así no le voy a olvidar nunca, ya vi. Ok, when do you practice? ¿Cuándo practica? We practice on Sundays, los domingos. We practice on Sundays. Remember that when you use or when you mention days of the week, you have to use the preposition on. Cuando usted menciona los días de la semana, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc., utilice la preposición on. Ok, we practice on Sundays. And then the next one is, what time do you start? What time? A qué hora? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. So, a uh, question for you. Let's see. What time do you start work? 
That's my question. What time do you start work? For example, in my case, I start work at 7 a.m. What about you? What time do you start work? That's my question. Volunteers, please. Cecia. Um, what time do you start work? I start to 3.30 a.m. 3.30 a.m. You start work? 3.30 a.m. ¿A esa hora se levanta o a esa hora empieza su turno de trabajo? Ah, uh, uh, estar... Pero es que empiezo a trabajar desde que me levanto, profe. No, hombre, pero ya a, a la hora que empieza el turno del trabajo, a eso me refiero. A uh, uh, 7.30. 7.30, ok, good. 7.30 a.m. 7.30 a.m., ok, good. Anyone else? What time do you start work? Bueno, capaz que todos empiezan a la misma hora porque vienen del mismo lugar. So, yeah, okay. So my question is now, what time do you finish work? What time do you finish work? For example, in my case, no me lo van a creer, pero I finish work at 10. PM. <laughs> I finish work at 10 p.m. Yes. I start 7, I finish at 10. So, what time do you finish work? Cecia. I finish work at ah, Cecia? Sorry, 3, sorry. 3.30 p.m. 3.30 p.m. Okay, good. 3.30 p.m. 3.30 p.m. Okay, that sounds Normalmente. Nice. Normally, okay. In normal circumstances. You finish ben, work? Ben. Okay, all right, sounds good. What about the rest of you? What time do you finish work? Enrique Perez. For me, teacher, uh, uh, I finish work, work at uh, 11 p.m. sometimes. 11 p.m. Wow. Sometimes. Wow, wow. And what time do you start work? Enrique, what time do you start work? Yes. Mm -hmm. The question is, what time what time do you start work? A que hora comienza? You can say, for example, in my case, I start work, I start work, sorry, at 7 a.m. Uh, for me, mm -hmm. I start work uh, at uh, 4 a.m. 4 a.m.? 4 a.m. Uh, I, I begin um, to make exercise. So you do exercise at 4 a.m. Pero esa hora se levanta. Uh, no, no, pero a qué hora, a qué hora entra, eso es lo que quiero saber. En serio. Sí. Oh my God. Ok. Yes. <laughs> oh my God, that, that's, that's, that's really hard Mister, work. Eso es Mister trabajo Oya, muy duro. Mr. Oya, Mr. Eh, Alan, Mr. Cedillo, Mr. David. Wow. My respects. Okay. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Incredible. Thanks. No, I get up like at 3.30 in the morning, but I start work at 7. Okay. That's when I start. And then I finish at 10 p.m. Oof, it's a long day. Anyway. Sí, la vida. <laughs> okay. Well, um, we're going to do a little bit of uh, uh, this. Okay, this is pre present simple questions. Okay, nothing new. Esto ya lo vimos, pero 
el, el, la, el, la, digamos, la sección en la que estamos, pues requiere que lo repasemos. Así que vamos a hacer un repaso. Los ejercicios sí van a ser distintos, ¿verdad? no van a ser iguales. So, study the word order. For questions, this is what you do. You have to use in present simple, do and does, then the subject, and then the verb in base form. Okay, that's the base form of the verb. You say, for example, do you play the guitar? Do your friends live near here? Does Chris work on Sunday? Does it rain a lot here? These are yes, no questions, okay? These are yes, no questions. That means the answer is yes or no. You say, do you play the guitar? The answers are yes, I do, or no, I don't. Do your friends live near here? The answers are yes, they do, or no, they don't. Does Chris work on Sunday? It should be on Sundays, sorry. I'm going to make a correction here. If I can find this, Sundays, plural. Okay. Okay, here we go. So does Chris work on Sundays? The answer will be yes, he does or no, he doesn't. Does it rain a lot here? The answer will be yes, it does or no, it doesn't. But then you have this. WH words like where do your parents live? Now, this is an information question or WH question. Because this time you need specific information to answer this. You can't say yes or no. Si le preguntan a usted, where do your parents live? Usted no les puede decir, yes, they do. Porque no les está diciendo nada. They need specific information. And what information is that? The key is here. Where? They need information about a place. Okay? So when they say, where do your parents live? In my case, for example, my parents live in Santa Tecla, okay? How often do you wash your hair? How often? This question word indicates frequency. They need information about frequency, okay? So how often do you wash your hair? You can say, I wash my hair every day or every other day, etc. What does this word mean? ¿Qué significa esta palabra? How much does it cost to fly to Puerto Rico? Okay. And remember, the question, what do you do, means what is your job? What is your occupation? Examples. What do you do? I work in a bank. What do you do? I am a teacher. What does Sandra do? She is a librarian. What does your brother do? He works in web design. Okay, so the question, what do you do, means what is your job? What is your occupation? Always remember that. So, we're going to do this exercise. This is your turn. First, we're going to do this, okay? Antes de hacer esto, vamos a hacer esto. Write three WH questions. Share your questions with the class. Use any of the following question words. What, when, where, who, why, how, how much, how many, what time, etc. I need you to write three questions. Necesito que escriban tres preguntas utilizando esta estructura. Con cualquiera de estas question words. No hay problema, pero que no sea una por cada uno. Solo tres necesito. Aquí les dejo la estructura. I'm going to give you four minutes for this. Please, write three WH questions. Tres minutos, perdón, cuatro minutos. Escríbanme tres WH questions y luego lo vamos a compartir. De acuerdo.
Teacher, le acabo de escribir un WhatsApp. ¿Quién me escribió por WhatsApp? Yo. ¿Quién José, es yo? Mil, José, José Milcar. Milcar Reyes, ah, José Milcar, sí. ok. Eh, creo que de hecho me lo mandó por mensaje directo de, 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 del chat, de Zoom. Pero sí, ya lo leí. Thank you for letting me know. Gracias por avisarme. Give me a moment, please. Please, please continue. Okay, I need the uh, volunteers to read the questions, please. Voluntarios, pero quiero escucharlos. Uh -huh. Wilber. Okay, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, what is your name? What is your name? Okay, that's a, that's a, uh, an information question. Very good. Aunque ese es con el verb be. Vamos a ver. Uh, más que todo preguntas en present simple, ¿verdad? Utilizando esta estructura de acá. Pero bueno, veamos, ¿qué más tenemos? Ok. Uh -huh. Bueno, le... <laughs> where do you live? Where do you live? Ok, that's a good question. And? Bueno, el otro también le tengo como la primera. What is your favorite color? What is your favorite color? Ok, information questions in general. Thank you, Wilbert. Enrique Pérez. Ok, teacher. En la primera estructura yo he puesto en la oración Do you drive a car? Y la respuesta le pongo Yes, I drive. Yes, I do. Pero yes. esas son Yes, no questions. Ma. El ejercicio, para el ejercicio tenemos que escribir information questions. Es decir, que comiencen con palabras como where, how often, what, how much, etc. etc. O sea, la pregunta y... está bien, solo que es el otro tipo de pregunta. Y la otra que tengo sobre la estructura de What do you do? Y What is your job? Ajá, ¿cuál sería entonces? En la, en la otra de What do you do? Le he puesto I go, I, I, uh, I go in the academy. I work in the, en, in the academy. Ok. En la segunda le dice What is your job? job? Mm -hmm. What is My your job? job. Uh, my job is uh, read noticias o noticias read. ¿Cómo sería? ¿Leer noticias? ¿Leer noticias? ¿Sí? What do you mean? ¿Cómo así? <laughs> <laughs> eh, por ejemplo, que mi, como lo, lo, lo favorito, lo que yo hago es rápido ver las redes sociales uh -huh. para ver noticias, a ver qué hay de nuevo. Yo okay. le pongo a leer noticias. Okay, so you say I I read the news. Sería chef. 
red. Okay. I check the social networks. Así quedaría. I check social networks. Sin embargo, la pregunta es, what is your job? ¿Cuál es su trabajo? ¿Cuál es su empleo? Mm -hmm. So, are you a trainer? ¿Es un entrenador? Something like that. Okay, what, do you, uh, what is your job? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, my job is teacher. A teacher, okay. Uh, yeah. I, I believe like a trainer, right? Como un entrenador, right? Yeah. Something like that, a trainer. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, listen. Uh, I'm going to call the attendance one more time. Veamos por acá a Maria Lourdes. What do you draw? What do you draw? Are you asking me? Um, yes. In, in the past, in the past, I used to draw faces of people. Uh huh. But now I do much simpler cartoons sometimes. Uh huh. That's what I do. <laughs> okay. Any other question? Voy a tomar asistencia acá. Karen Julisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Aquí está. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Mónica Ivet Merino Rivas. Is Mónica here? Mónica, no. Okay. All right, everybody. Thank you very much. We have to stop right here. Aquí vamos a parar. So tomorrow we're going to do more exercises about this topic and uh, we're going to continue with section number five. Vayan adelantando, acuérdense que más o menos para el miércoles, según las exigencias, ¿verdad? Establecidas, ya tienen que ir terminando también el examen final que aparece después de la unidad 5. Así que metámosle eso. Thank you very much, everybody, and I will see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Tomorrow. Good night, Bye -bye. teacher. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.